All right, welcome back. So let's talk about this polygamy thing. Is polygamy a sin? Is polygamy better than monogamy? All right, let's talk about it. So personally, I am a monogamist, okay? I am married to one wife, and I plan to keep it that way because I do want to have, in my opinion, I want to have a healthy lifestyle, a very settled healthy lifestyle that's my personal opinion i've been doing it for 15 years i enjoy it um we've had our own fair share of ups and downs uh these days everything after 10 years is basically has been a lot more stable than the first 10 years 100 times and we've enjoyed uh every bit of the last 10 years sorry last five years we enjoyed quite a lot of the first 10 years too but there was just a lot by myself from my personal opinion that i did not learn until 10 years in marriage so that's why i tell everyone that has less than 10 years in marriage or that have failed marriages or anybody that haven't experienced marriage to stop giving advice on marriage period now the idea of polygamy versus monogamy is a different topic altogether. As you can see, we're talking about Yul Edoche, who was a Nigerian fine actor. And uh, basically another guy who was also a social media influencer of some sort, also a politician. Um, Renu Omokri, uh, talking about uh, his opinions on polygamy. I agree with him. Polygamy is not a sin from what I've seen. It's not a sin. Um, I was listening to an argument as usual in the clubhouse and some guy was trying to make a case for the fact that uh, monogamy is some kind of uh, like any woman who would subscribe to polygamy is a woman who has low self-esteem i disagree okay um because the reason why i disagree with that is it's discounts uh the variations in different the variations and the differences in values there are some people that their value system is based on their religion, how they're socialized. Also, the reason me being a monogamist is a function of a lot of things, the way I was raised, uh, the way I was socialized. It's not because I'm better than the next person. It doesn't make me better than the next person, but I've deemed it that I have, will have a lot more peace of mind as long as I am in a very happy and these are sizable books they are minimum 200 pages uh, you can download them absolutely for free uh, by simply going to for example this one you just go to get my marriage smart real estate wholesaling.com uh, real estate money secrets.com so yes i am a three times author and those books are out there for your for your consumption and they are also available everywhere on amazon anywhere that you pick up books so in case you prefer a physical book like that um sexually satisfied a marriage where i am enjoying the company of my beautiful wife if i don't have happiness if i don't have sexual satisfaction i have a very strong feeling that i would not be satisfied with the idea of duty and just responsibility in a marriage uh, without being a polygamist okay i would have to find other ways to compensate for all these different holes right but with the way i'm set up mentally speaking i'm okay with the idea of one wife in fact i'm living it and i'm having a good time that doesn't mean that the next person will necessarily have that same thing but there are formulas to creating exactly what you want if that's what you would like if you feel like you have that kind of personality you would like one wife you would like to enjoy life with one wife children a few children and build a nuclear family a solid one then absolutely uh there are formulas don't let anyone tell you don't let anybody tell you that there are no formulas to it there are formulas people are very quick listen there's uniqueness from marriage to marriage from individual to individual that's a different conversation that's a different context but there are also formulas that you can follow there are people you can learn from that are doing this successfully okay now with that being said um, this guy came out and said, hey, I have a beautiful son with my second wife. And then all of a sudden, everyone went crazy on the internet because they, they, they haven't heard of somebody in this modern times being a polygamist. And they're shocked, right? 
and they are also happy because they've been fantasizing about the idea of poly Gummy. What I find in these modern times is that people think polygamy is going to fix all of their uh, relational relationship problems. Your problems in relationships are like your shadow. They follow you everywhere you go. You will have those same problems in monogamy. You will have those same problems in polygamy, right? If you don't know how to satisfy a woman or make a woman satisfy you, you will have those same problems in polygamy, right? You would. If you're a cheater, quote unquote cheater meaning you don't know how to tell people like this is the kind of lifestyle i want and have them say yes you will probably do the same thing in other aspects of life it's just what it is like you're not gonna fix that by simply marrying multiple wives with that being said there's absolutely nothing wrong with having multiple wives if you can pull it off if you are able to pull off the idea of multiple wives in this modern times uh, some of you are just more attracted to ladies who would never agree to something like that. But then uh, later on down the years, you cheat on her and then you want to switch it and say, hey, it's, I want to be, I want to have a second wife anyway. She's probably just going to leave your ass. So, for example, the wife of Yule Doce said, God punish you too. <laughs> right? She said that to the new wife. From what I saw, you know, I don't know if any of this is true, by the way. Um... And then also said that to the husband, right? So clearly she's not happy. That's not the same thing of as polygamy, the way we ideally thought of it from days of the past. The idea from polygamy was at least my grandfathers who are polygamists, right? Uh, the idea was I married a wife, I have a few children. Uh, a little, a few years later, we we'll say, hey, I'm about to introduce you to somebody who is going to be we call it your wife meaning the second wife we're saying that to the older wife right and they they ideally would say oh, yes my husband sure bring home another wife so we can all share of the goodness of you my husband <laughs> right that's what we would think about ideally in our head but the reality wasn't that the reality was that that original relationship was starting to fall apart. Now, there are some people that literally put together big families because they take them to the farm. They take them, they are part of the empire, the family empire. They are working on the farm and the plantation with their father. But for the most part, at least in the last 100 years to maybe 150 years, it's basically people who their relationship with their wife is deteriorating and they say, well, Society allows me, I'm just going to have a second wife anyway. They don't just do that. They, they don't just decide. They just start dating this other chick on the other side of the street. And then eventually she gets pregnant and then they bring her home and say, hey, that, and then they maybe call another family, elderly family member and say, hey, I, I, I impregnated another girl. And they'll say, okay, I guess you're going to have a second wife. It's not something that's so deliberate. I'm going to have a second wife. Now, Muslims they, uh, in Islamic religion, there are some people that do that but let's not cap it's not like a situation where people design their life i'm gonna have five six wives some of these people end up with ten wives some of these people end up with um six out of actual ten wives that they've married meaning some wives actually left eventually because they lacked the ability to keep their home together so polygamy is not gonna fix your problem okay it was a construct of the past some people are bringing it back in the form of polyamorous. Now, some wives can have multiple husbands. People are going mad and then try different things. Thinking it's going to solve their relationship problems. It won't. You will still need to learn how to have a relationship. With that being said, I don't think anything is wrong with polygamy. I don't think it's a sin. I think if you can pull it off, knock yourself out by all means. All right. Peace.